This is a land of many riches, but silver isn't one of them, contrary to the expectations of the early explorers when they gave the country its name, Argentina. Today, its riches comprise some of the most beautiful scenic environments in the world. For me, the vast expanse of Patagonia stretching endlessly to the horizon remains one of the most impressive sights. It is an inhospitable landscape, a harsh windswept environment with scanty vegetation. But closer inspection of the pebble-strewn flat surface reveals a fascinating world. On the road between Calafate and Rio Gallegos, we spotted patches of mate guanaco, a plant as rare as the animal it is named after. Guanacos are a protected species, indigenous to Argentina, and were hunted for their meat and fur. It's an experience to find them in the wild, and we couldn't believe our luck when we spotted this small herd. Amazingly, they stood and watched us, and I think that we probably provided as interesting a spectacle to them as they to us. There was a time when Argentina had 80 million sheep and was one of the main wool suppliers in the world. Now there are only 30 million sheep left, almost all of them in Patagonia. On our travels we passed estancias and modern-day gauchos, descendants of the rough, hard-drinking, hard-living legendary orphans of the Pampa and now gaining romantic symbolism. For blue-beaked ducks, pink flamingos, ibis, hawks and other wildlife, the Laguna de Nemes, a nature reserve outside of Calafate, provides an ideal resting and breeding ground. It's a marshland region tucked behind sand dunes on the shores of the Glacier Lago Argentino. En route to the glaciers, the condors teased us with their presence. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.